How's it going? Welcome to a new episode of Jumpstart. My name is Dave, and today I'm joined by two very special guests visiting from Buenos Aires. We've got Martin Repetto. Hey, what's up, audience? And Maximo Rodis. Hey, what's up? And uh, they joined me this week. Uh, we went to the GEC, the Game Developers Conference here in San Francisco, and uh, we checked out, went to a few meetings and had a few stuff, things like that, but uh, mainly checked out the expo floor and saw what was going on with the industry and checked out a few sessions. So, uh, Martin, was there anything in particular you thought was cool here this year at GCC? Uh, well, it was a different year at GCC. I mean, it's, you know, with all the things that are going on, but, you know, anyway, there was a lot of cool things. I want to I want to talk about the online. live Yeah, online live is very cool. online yeah. is very cool. For those who haven't checked it out, online.com, you can figure it out. But um, essentially, it's a... <laughs> what? I'm doing that is like great. That. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not doing advertising for online, on live but I think it's really cool. It can be an yeah. industry changer. Um, a few a few years down the road, but yeah, I thought that was that was kind of cool. That yeah. was my little like, oh, this is awesome kind of thing moment that I had in the GDC. Yeah, and it's basically on live. It's basically this, uh, you know, you don't really need a console. It's just a thing that connects to servers and you play games, uh, you know, that way uh, mm -hmm. on your TV and. And uh, it's really interesting, they got a lot of publishers signed up. We saw Burnout Paradise running on it and uh, you know, Crisis. Crisis, things yeah. like that. So really cool, it has a lot of potential and we'll see how it goes. Um, it's very interesting getting rid of the whole console idea. Yeah, and yeah it's, it's just a micro console that you can plug into your TV or you can use even your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was awesome. Pretty cool. Maximo, was there anything in particular well, to you? Uh, well, what's really cool were the Sony 3D glasses. Yeah, that was fun. That was we, fun. Had we had fun we trying that. We've been playing a car game. The car racing game, yeah. Which yeah. one was it? I don't know, I think it was like a prototype. It wasn't a game. Yeah. It wasn't like a retail game. It wasn't a prototype that it was using like a 3D technology. It was a very simple, like the blue and red uh, yeah. kind of thing, but you know, it worked very well. Really like, that was kind of neat. Yeah, it had some cool depth of field yeah. uh, stuff going on. Yeah. And, uh, it's not like true 3D, but it you know, you know, was a really yeah. good feeling. Really yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. and cool. Uh, I think we got to try the DSi, which is a You like it, huh? Yeah, it was pretty cool. It, it was pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has a little camera and uh, everything like that, and that was fun. Played, played a really small uh, little bird game on it. Yeah, the, the, the game was like free, like, it was <laughs> yeah. like a 90 cent dollar. Yeah, it was like a two dollar game yeah. apparently, a downloadable game, and that's cool that they're doing that sort of thing on the DS. Yeah, the uh, DSi Wear, it's called. Uh, yeah, DSi Wear, yeah, DSi so Wear, everywhere, something, something like that. Um, also saw the new Punch Out game coming out for the Wii, and that was really cool. That was really that, cool. The art direction yeah. on that is really. Oh, really that's cool. really awesome. You see that big guy? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that that guy King Hippo and stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that was cool. awesome. yeah, yeah, that was pretty neat. And uh, you tried on that head targeting system where you wore a hat oh. that had. Man, that was that was awesome. It's like you know, you always if you play Counter Strike or any FPS, you always yeah. want to you know like do like you just use your hands to look. I mean, it's it's great. I mean, it was a great feeling and it felt okay. It felt it yeah. felt all right. Yeah, that getting, was pretty getting interactive, We're getting within the game. Yeah. Exactly, you know, exactly. It, it's a new access. It's a new movement. You can be like firing and shooting in this direction and you know watching over your shoulder yeah. like a friend. Like you can you know even talk to someone and yeah. continue moving forward. That's I think it's pretty, pretty, yeah. Well, cool. well, we had a great time at GDC, a lot of fun, and uh, here, getting a show oh. more. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, it was great. And uh, in terms of atmosphere news, um, we've been recently working on a few development things, including the new enemies that we're adding to the game. Yeah. We've shown some screenshots of uh, some sketches of this. And our community finds some of the textures. So yeah, you guys, you guys are pretty good about yeah. going through the texture files and figuring stuff out. Uh, I mean, in, if it's in there, it's <laughs> because we don't want to hide anything. I mean, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's going to be for you guys. Yeah. And that enemy, you will have a lot of fun with it. I think you have footage of that. Yeah, so let's take a look at some of the footage right now. We're going right. to show the, uh, the Grunt uh, character. And this guy's a really small little guy. And he starts, uh, he sort of comes at you and claws at you and then runs away. So yeah, he gets yeah. sort of annoyed at times. Yeah. Exactly. He's not like uh, an enemy like the ones we have right now that yeah. just want to hit you. This guy will, you know, sneak on you, hit you, and try to run away. Yeah. So it's more difficult to kill. Yeah. You know. And it's pretty cool when you put a whole group of them together. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. you know, have them all attacking you. At least it's some randomness, and it's really it 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 makes for some really difficult combat. Yeah. Situations. And you can you can configure the properties as well yeah. with any other enemy, and yeah. you know, yes. you put you know how much damage you want it to be taken right. and stuff like that. So yeah. That's, that's awesome. Cool. That's awesome. And then uh, we also have a, a shaman character, a magician type character that shoots actually ranged magic attacks. Exactly. That yeah. that's pretty cool because we are starting to add you know. <laughs> melee attack enemies and also ranged attack enemies. Yeah. And we're going to be introducing a boss and 
some other new goodies with this new tribe, the Macu tribe. It's right. Really, it's and really great. Yeah, and what's so cool is when you put uh, all of these guys together, including with the crabs and the skulls oh, yeah. and everything, it's it, a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess, but it's, it's so <laughs> much fun. Like, I had a great yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because, because actually, some of the attacks hurt the other guys. Exactly. Yeah. That's, the, uh, that's a concept <laughs> that we wanted to grasp because I remember me back in the day playing Doom 1 yeah. and, for example, doing, you know, enemies fight each other because right. they, were, they weren't actually fighting each other sometimes. They were trying to hit, him, hit me, yeah. but some of them got in the way and yeah. they get hurt. And this started to happen in atmosphere and it's so much fun because you can use a ranged enemy, you know, to help you kill one of the, one of the bad guys. Right. Or some skull and crap. Yeah. yeah, so it's very cool to see all that stuff come to life and I think we'll probably be, we're planning to introduce a sort of destroy all enemies mode basically. Exactly, where, exactly. You know, with all this new combat stuff added in the game, that seems like a good goal. Instead of find the finish flag, set the, you know, find the, get the score, but also defeat all enemies seems like you know, a different goal that adds a whole new gameplay twist uh, now that combat's becoming, uh, you know, an option in the game. Yeah, and where we are right now with the, the status and the development of the enemies, the enemies are done, they're already modeled, yep. textured, and inside the game. <laughs> Maximo here is running QA and is making sure that it works all right, but eventually the QA is going to be run by the community. We're going to put up uh, very, very, very soon an update with all these enemies so we can get feedback. Yeah, so that's probably what everyone's asking uh, yeah. on the yeah. other side of their computers. When can we expect this I mean, update? for tomorrow it's going to be ready, but the thing is that I am here in, in, in San Francisco, I'm not in Buenos Aires, and it gets complicated like uh, for me to streamline the process. Maxim is traveling on Saturday back to Argentina, so from Monday he will be in the office. So, so I will say that maybe Monday, Tuesday, we can, we can have the update ready. I mean, we can do it tomorrow, but uh, I don't want to compromise quality. Well, right? we have to do some QA tests. Exactly. So we'll, see, we'll see. I don't know how long. Uh, you know, I would say probably sometime next week. Yeah, probably some yeah. sometime next week will be definitely safer. I mean, the sooner the better. We can. We want to get it out. I mean, yeah, I want absolutely. to. I want to play levels with those guys. Yeah. Right? I want to want to see what the audience do. So yeah, yeah. It's not that um, we are trying to hold back. Right. I mean, that's definitely not the case. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's the big news going on, and then we've been talking a whole bunch about the future of Atmosphere this week. A lot of... Atmosphere is really so good. There's a <laughs> lot of cool things yeah. coming down the pipeline. I think we're all really excited about it, and we can't wait to share with you guys uh, more about all that stuff as well. So, um, I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. yeah. It's been a great update. Yeah, yeah. well, right. thanks, thanks for uh, stopping by, guys, visiting time here in San Francisco. Oh. And uh, yeah. to everyone in the community, take care, and stay tuned atmosphere.com for all the latest news and updates and uh, again the next update will probably be coming sometime next week yeah. and uh, make sure to uh, vote for the Blockheart 09 uh, levels in, in the forum threads we'll have uh, the results of that next week and we'll also be announcing our new design challenge next week and there's been a vote going on in the forums about that as well yeah. I've seen that it's pretty heated yeah. 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 Video, oh, the video game that. and combat have yeah. been the two that have been exactly. going back and forth yeah. it's, uh, Pretty interesting. So anyway, so take care. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, one more thing. Uh, tomorrow, uh, sorry, tomorrow, next week, one of the things that we're going to be trying is the new automatic updater, right? Oh, right. Because uh -huh. we we got rid of the update button. So right. so it will be like you firing the game, and the game should automatically update, update yeah. when when the update is uploaded to the server. So we're going to try. That. <laughs> yeah. So you know, fingers crossed, everyone. Let's see how it goes. And. If anything, if everything goes wrong, we are going to put up a new install, installable version. So yeah. make sure, in, in any case, on Sunday, make sure that you back up all your draft, all, all your levels, and all your stuff, just in case. I mean, remember, this is a private beta, and we are still in development, right? Yeah. So, yeah. very well, absolutely. Yeah, these shows are so much more fun to do with more people. It's so boring when I do it by myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't watch that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why would you? Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> you guys should be here all the time. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks, guys, so much. Have a great weekend, and take care. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Oh, I need to throw a piece of paper. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay, huh? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was awesome. You already recording? Yeah. Yeah, I always do a little warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Oh My God. And Maximo Radice. Hey, guy. And uh, we are, did you say hey, guy? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Martin Rapetto. Hey guy, what's up? And you <laughs> see <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new episode of Jumpstart. My name is Dave, and I'm joined today by two. <laughs> Everyone knows that you're Dave, right? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new episode of Jumpstart. My name is Dave. It's Jumpstart. This is the coolest thing you're going to see at GDC today. Uh, come here, come here, little donkey. Uh, so I think one of these skis allows me to ride the donkey. I don't awesome. know which one it is. Anyway. That's amazing. Right, right. Ah. Oh my 
my goodness. So now you can ride the donkey and you can jump. Holy crap. I know. Like this is the best game <laughs> ever. This is amazing. <laughs> Seriously. I've Why been, didn't people think of this I've before? I've been playing this for hours. I know. I can't stop playing it. <laughs>